everybody. It's that time again. Yep, it's drama time. Patrick Starr has gone on his Instagram Live to discuss more of his feelings on Beautycom. He had already posted a live the day before saying that here is a cute video, but Beautycon is an unorganised mess and it got a lot of people talking as Patrick Starr generally doesn't insert himself into drama and people have a lot of respect for him, so if he's saying there's a problem, then people are listening. Well, in his live, he says the following. Or this and that, and that's what it seems to be. And in watching Sierra and Skylar... I do want to apologize for you, and I would love to meet you guys. If you guys are ever watching or if anybody knows them, I do follow both of them, and I feel so, so bad. I really sympathize for them, but it was just so disrespectful what they went through. And what makes me even worse about the situation and what makes me even more upset is that I had security, I had an escort, I had a runner, I had a publicist, I had my manager in attendance, I had my wristbands ready to slip on my wrist, I had my assistant, I had my producer, I had my uh, videographer with me, and that's like the whole 10, but you know, I, I feel bad supporting this type of convention and this business and this company when others aren't treated as well or overlooked and as a content creator I know what that's like oh my gosh she's actually in here hello um I actually feel bad um for other content creators because back then you know when I was much smaller I had a much a much um micro more micro experience in that and i do feel bad for sierra and skylar and i love you guys and i hope to meet you guys and i hope you guys have a much more positive experience i do feel bad for beautycon having issued that apology i wish you had gotten a call um a grant i don't know an incentive but it was just yeah 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 here's our apology let's focus on our next convention and the, the apology could, it wasn't an apology, the, the live, you know, that's what made me more upset too. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, uh, I would love to meet you guys too, but if you guys are watching, um, just know that this is about BeautyCon and this is about a company. This is not to personally attack the founder, attacked any of the employees, but I feel like my voice here on my freaking phone would resonate much louder than sitting face to face with them. And, you know, I know that there have been personal threats and personal stuff, but that is a personal conversation. This is about a business and this is about a company. And when you are taking people's money and utilizing it to pay big talent, big celebrities, to swoon your marketing and have micro influencers post for free when this is their livelihood, that's not what it's about, you know? And when you're gonna issue an apology, issue it in person, issue it verbally and say it like you mean it. And don't even bother saying it if you don't mean it. And I, I, I just feel bad because I was literally whisked like a princess from my bus all the way to my meet and greet, to the photo booth, to the red carpet. It was a very smooth process. And then I see other people and also my peers and some of my clients, you know, I am a manager and I do represent some influencers have a less than experience, a less than magical experience when I know they're spending for their outfit, their transportation, their hotel. It's like, man, I just feel bad because when you know, when you want to invest in your business, you want to spend your money and put it back into your business, whether it's a camera, a light, an experience to network. And when it's a less than positive experience, I feel really, really bad. But that is it um, off the top of my chest. I will be leaving this live up. Um, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to send me a DM. Um, and I hope, my end goal is that I hope this I hope that this 
message reaches greater than just the BeautyCon team, but also other conventions to pay attention to the customer. And now, I really like Patrick Starr. He seems like a really genuine person. And even just the way that he was talking in that clip, he apologized in the correct, sincere manner that BeautyCon has so far lacked, in my opinion. And it isn't even his convention. He had nothing to do with the planning or even the way that Sierra Schultze and her friend Skylar were treated and I really thought that was a lovely thing for him to say. And in fact, Sierra was actually in the live stream listening to everything Patrick said and Patrick said he would love to meet them both. So maybe we will see a collab from these three soon. What do you guys think of Patrick Starr going on live to spill the tea on BeautyCon? Do you appreciate his opinion more on this because of his reputation for not being in drama too often? Let me know in the comments section below. And if you could like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to become part of the notification squad, that would be awesome. See you next time.